Welcome to Good Knit Kisses Techniques and Tutorials. Hi, I'm Kristen. We're teaching techniques and tutorials at Good Knit Kisses to help keep you in stitches. <laughs> Today's clip is from a longer video, a, a longer tutorial that is a pattern. We are going to shorten it down for you today, so click on the link in the description below if you'd like more information or that full video tutorial. All right, let's begin. We're going to work row one. Go ahead and get your paper out. I want you to make a quick note. So when we're converting the right side row, this is gonna be the front row. All, all rows on loom knitting are the right side, but on knitting every other row, when you're flat panel knitting back and forth, um, is the right side row that they call out. Now this particular stitch pattern is a one row of heat for needles, so this is the right side row here. So it's knit one, purl one, and you repeat back in, all, across all of your, your entire row. But when it goes to the second row, uh, needles get to repeat that same thing over and over. But we need to do a change. So we actually switch it. And so imagine this is copied over to a second row. And then what I do is I'm converting. I just make it backwards. So I'm going to do a purl stitch, which is the back side of a knit stitch. So I'm going to do that first. So I'm going to purl and then I'm going to knit. So it's the exact opposite of this one, and I repeat across. So that's the only difference. So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and write that in your notes. And now I'm gonna actually show you how to do it if this is your first time. So if it's not your first time, repeat across, and then join me back up for the rest of the notes on the pattern. Okay, so we're going to knit this stitch here. Okay, now if you are using the 5 8 loom, you will just U wrap. So we're going to wrap around Oops, I'm sorry, I'm going the opposite direction. When we're going this direction, we're going to go wrap around this way and make our working yarn come this way. So I'm going to make it come around and make a U, okay? So the open part of the U, um, or let's just say the bottom part of the U goes in the direction where you want to travel. So here we go, that's a unit stitch. And then we're going to make a purl stitch. So we're going to go below this loop here. We're going to pull that up from the ocean. Now, purl is P-U-R-L, it's not actually like a purl. So we make a loop, we pull the old one off, and we put the new one on. Okay, tighten that up. Not too tight. And then we're going to do the U-wrap again. So we're going to go to the front, and then between the next peg that we want to go, and then towards the back again. And that gives us the extra slack that we need. Lift up and over for that stitch, and you've made the U. Be sure not pull it too tight, or else it's going to become a flat knit stitch. Okay? And if you've got it too tight, just pull on that to make it loose. I'm going to the next one. I'm going to uh, take my tool and go under, pull up a new loop, take off the old. You can use your tool or your finger. Okay, I usually use my finger. And then we'll just put that new one back on there and just continue all the way across. So when you're working from right to left, because we cast on all in one direction, we cast on left to right. When you're working right to left, you're going to start with the knit stitch. When we get to the other side, you'll see we start with the purl. So join me back in a minute and I'll show you how to move on. All right, I'm working my last stitch. It is a U-wrap knit, so we continue that. And now we're going to work the stitch again, moving from left to right, and this will be purled. So we go through and purl that, and keep it nice and loose, and go on to the next one, and that's gonna be knit. So it's knit, purl, knit, purl on the way, over and now on the way back on the second row, it's purl, knit, purl, knit. Now, if you were working on a smaller gauge loom, when you get to this section here, you will go from the back of the, um, the back of the peg that you want wrapped and you're gonna go between that and the next peg and then wrap back all the way around, okay? If I'm working the unit stitch, I go to the front and then work towards the back, okay? So E wrap is because it looks like a little cursive E and if I was continuing to go along, it looks like an upside down cursive E. Okay, so you're probably familiar with the E already, but the U wrap knit just goes like this. So on this gauge loom, make it a U. On the small gauge loom, make it an E and that will make up for the size. I wanna show you my two samples here. So this sample here is working it in an E wrap stitch on the um, all-in-one loom, okay? You can see how that is. The bottom part is where I was testing it with a flat knit stitch, and you can see how it distorts this image here. It's not supposed to look like this. Here's a sample of my needles. Okay, so this sample was worked on needles. It's looser, this part is looser. 
this does not look right. See how it's distorted? So starting here, and I marked it with my yarn, I changed the yarn here, and you can really tell that it um, kind of squishes it. The E-wrap, you can kind of tell that it's twisted in the back, but in the front, it looks really great. So I would say use the E on that other. Now, if you want to use um, the 5 8 with the unit stitch, it comes out looking just like this. Thanks for joining me on Good Knit Kisses Technique Tutorials. Be sure to subscribe and also comment down below and tell me what techniques and stitches that you would like to see. Have a great day and happy knit and crochet.